Hello, I'm Jason with the Northwest African American Museum, and welcome to Storytime. Today we're going to be reading The Remember Balloons. It's written by Jesse Oliveros and illustrated by Dana Wolfcoat. And this is a story about the relationship between a boy and his grandfather. So let's get started. I have lots and lots of balloons, way more than my little brother. This one's my favorite, I tell him, pointing to the balloon filled with my last birthday party. When I look at it, I can see the pony again. I can still taste the chocolate frosting. Mom and Dad have more balloons than I do. Grandpa has lived so long, he has more balloons than all of us together. And the stories he has inside those balloons, they're better than ponies and chocolate frosting. What's in your yellow balloon, I ask him. Grandpa's eyes light up. We just come back from picking blueberries along the muddy banks of the creek. Our berry splattered faces gave Aunt Nellie's cow such a fright. She didn't make milk for days. What's that blue one, Grandpa? That's the time I lost my favorite dog, Jack, Grandpa chuckles. I found him chasing butterflies next to the schoolhouse. Only Jack could get me to school on a Saturday. And that one? I pointed to a purple balloon above his head. Grandpa looks up and smiles, his face alive with remembering. That's the day I married your grandma in the little church on Cedar Lane. We danced that night under the stars, and oh, how I loved her. I don't have to ask him about the silver balloon, because I have that one, too. That was the day we stood on the dock till the sun went down, filling tug after tug on our lines. Grandpa and I must have caught a thousand fish. Grandpa ruffles my hair like he always does. That's one of my favorite balloons. Mine, too, I say. But Grandpa has been having problems with his balloons lately. One will get caught in a tree, and then he'll tell me the same story over and over. Let me tell you about the Christmas I went to Aunt Nellie's farm, Grandpa says, even though he just finished telling me about it. Other times, a balloon will float right out of his hand, and he won't even know it. It's okay, Grandpa. I yell as I run after it. Every time I almost reach it, but it always slips away. Something's wrong with Grandpa, I tell my parents. He can't hold on to his balloons anymore. Mom looks at me with sad eyes. That happens sometimes when people grow older. Grandpa's balloons start floating away faster and faster, running down streets and up hills. I watch the balloons grow smaller. He finally loses the silver one. I watch it float away until I can't see it anymore. Why did you let it go? I yell. That was our balloon. Then I sit on the sidewalk and cry. I feel Grandpa pat my back, but he doesn't ruffle my hair like he always did. Why are you crying, child? There's nothing to cry about. One day I go to see him and all his balloons are gone. Grandpa, I say, but he doesn't look at me. It'll be okay, Dad says. Look up. I have new balloons now. A yellow one filled with blackberries and a cow. A blue one filled with Grandpa and his favorite dog. A purple one filled with a wedding day. See, Mom says, now they're yours to share. So I climb into Grandpa's lap and begin telling him about my new balloons. And that was the Remember Balloons. It was great that the little boy got a chance to share his new balloons with his grandfather. I'm glad you had time to share story time with us today, and we'll see you next time.